Well, the uh, final question in our trilogy charges us to uh, graph the solution set for a system of inequalities. And when we do that, we'll shade a region containing every point that that uh, all the points that will satisfy the system. So let's get started. And uh, uh, here's the first inequality and the associated line, and we'll call it L sub 1. And here's the second inequality and its associated line and we'll call it L sub 2, and in each case I just exchange an equal sign for the inequality, so L sub 2. And uh, to graph these lines, we'll identify the intercepts, x and y, and graph those, and then we'll be able to run lines through those intercepts and have the uh, uh, associated lines. So let's see, we'll let x be 0 to find the y-intercept and y be 0 to find the x-intercept, 0 and 0. And for the first line, if we let x be 0, we get 3y equals 6, so dividing through by 3, y must equal 2. Now if y is 0, then we get x equal to 6. Uh, for the second line, if we let y, uh, excuse me, x be 0, we'll get y equal to negative 1. And for the uh, case where y is 0, uh, x will be 1 half because 2 times 1 half is 1 and 1 minus 1 is 0. So x equals 1 half. Next thing, we're ready to graph. So, we'll call this x and y. And for line 1, we've got a y-intercept at 0, 2, 0, 2, and an x-intercept at 6, 0. And we're going to graph this line as a broken line. And the reason is because there is no equal sign associated with the inequality. If there was, we would graph with a solid line. Now, and this is line, this is our first line. Now, for L sub 2, we've got a y-intercept at 0, negative 1 and an x-intercept at 1 half 0, half 0. And so and there's our L sub 2. Now if a point in a region satisfies an inequality, then every point in that region will satisfy the inequality. And let's pick the easiest point in the world to work with. Will you agree that's 0, 0? Now if we, and we're looking at uh, the first inequality, so if we replace x with 0 and y with 0, we get 0 is greater than 6, and that is not true. So mm, then this point doesn't work relative to the first inequality, so no point below L sub 1 will work. But let's try a point above. How about 0, 4? If we replace x with 0 and y with 4, hey, we got a true statement. 12 is greater than 6. So we're going to shade that region above L sub 1. So any point in that region will satisfy the first inequality. Now, for L sub 2, the second line, and the second inequality, let's try the origin again. And uh, if we let x be 
0 and y be 0, we'll get 0 is less than negative 1, and that's not true. So no point to the left of L sub 2 will satisfy this inequality. Let's pick a point to the right. How about 6, 0? If we let x be 6 and y 0, well, 2 times 6 is 12, minus 1 is 11, and 0 is less than 11. So any point to the right of L sub 2 will satisfy that second inequality. And the solutions are in the region where red and blue intersect. So this is our solution region, and we're done.